Hi friends, today is World Water Day. So let me share some curious facts about water, right? And as you know, this channel, the main focus of this channel is on the curiosity, as you can see it here. Curious facts about water, right? 22nd March is celebrated worldwide as World Water Day. And uh, that has something to do with the SDG, that is Sustainable Developmental Goal 6, number 6 of the UN SDG is something to do with water and sanitation you know so water and sanitation for all by 2030 but friends you know two billion of the, the human population almost one third of us don't have access to safe drinking water so that is why the water conservation of the water is the priority and that is why we are celebrating we are observing this day to spread the awareness of the you know, the SDG 6 as well as the, the conservation of the water. So let's start the, the facts, the weird facts. I don't know how many of you know all these facts. Some of these are really obvious, but let's discuss one by one. The first is life originator in water. So that is what even today, if you go, especially if you're a zoologist, you know, zoological taxonomy, if you look at the animals, the phyla of animal most, you can see every single phyla in the, the sea and ocean but on on the terrestrial uh, fauna it's very less you know so yes that gives a clue that uh, you know the diversity is a lot more in the in the oceans you know so of course the water day is about water so water can be fresh water or the saline water not salt water or sea water right but we do have world uh, oceans day so that is why today is mostly for the fresh water, right? So, and that this uh, show is also about the fresh water. So, four billion years back, life originated on the planet Earth. And even today, you know, the human body, 60 percentage friends of water. So, fact number three is the human brain is now 75 percentage is water. The body is 60 percent, I told you. And the, the fourth, a uh, weird fact about water is that only three percentage of the earth's water is fresh water the rest is all saline water or sea water you know 97 percent is sea water only three percent is fresh water and fifth almost 90 percentage of the excess atmospheric heat because of the anthropogene that is human mediator or human caused global warming is being absorbed by world oceans, so it is a giant heat sink, friends. The most of the the you know the the temperature of the Earth's surface actually get absorbed by the water. It's a great heat buffer, so that is why the water regulates the climate of the planet Earth. You know, so that is why it is really important for predicting the different climate change models. You know, sea surface water, and six. 70 percentage of the fresh water is stored in antarctica you know antarctic has got two ice sheets i was privileged to see these ice sheets east antarctic and ice sheet and west antarctic and ice sheets and 70 percentage of the fresh water is stored in these two ice sheets alone and as you know these sheets are formed almost 30 million years back and antarctica as weird as it may seem is the driest place on the planet earth a Takama Desert, uh, we know in Andes, it is also a very dry place. But the most driest place on Earth is Antarctica, especially in Makmudo Dry Valley, where the American station is located. You know, so Makmudo did not even get the rain in the last two million years, not a single drop of rain. You know, so that is why it's the driest continent of the planet Earth. Seven. Stigofauna or subterranean fauna, fauna means animals, stigofauna friends, that lives in the underwater aquifers, you know the groundwater systems, aquifers or the groundwater conduits, isn't it the, the, the water table. So it's pitch dark there and the animals will never see the sunlight or any kind of light, you know, so they spend their entire life underneath these, uh, you know, aquifers, so that is called stigofauna. And most of us are clueless. What you know, only few the papers are only started emerging in uh, zoological, uh, you know, the taxonomy, right? Animal taxonomy, zoo taxa, for example, uh, it's very rare. We still don't know what is the diversity of stegofauna, as well as 
related fauna uh, in the cave which is not really aquatic but still that is called troglofauna you know troglofauna and stegofauna these two are quite related terms cave dwelling animals right and that has something to do with this year's theme of the world water day that is the groundwater making the invisible visible the groundwater is people don't much talk about the groundwater and the importance of saving water it's a precious resource right and as well as this invisible fauna like stick of fauna we should actually be more careful about it and they are also being suffered because of the pollution water pollution you know all these are actually interconnected issues number eight hot water freezes faster than the cold water no one knows so well the intuition says like usually the cold water if you simply apply a little bit more temperature it will freeze right that is what in our fridge refrigerator the freezer compound component is but if the water is really hot it freezes so much faster <laughs> very interesting that is the effect is known as uh, m pemba effect so m p e m b a that is the name of a student phd student from kenya not kenya tanzania very near country right tanzanian student he discovered this particular effect m pemba effect you know but no one knows the real reason so it's what is really interesting you know so chemically speaking water should be air in the room temperature but because of the extreme stickiness you know uh, uh, this you know water walls interactions the water is liquid you know and water is the only chemical that expands when it goes from liquid to solid state that's very interesting all the rest actually constrict but water expands as you know the ice right the the pipe that got clogged with the water uh, during the winter time it expands and it breaks the plumbing systems of the world right so yes so the water is exceptional in that case tenth water is the second most common molecule in the universe after hydrogen molecule this water molecule the the, the the most common molecule that is also i came across that uh, of late 11 all water on the planet earth are alien can you believe it when the earth formed we didn't have any water so as per the currently available evidences you know the astronomers and geologists believe that the water came from asteroids and comets you know so that is what it's an extraterrestrial origin of the water uh, yes yeah, so around four billion years back and water once uh, the planet is flourished with water the life originated around the same time you know four billion years back and final curious fact about the water there are 16 phases of water with different structures so the water the molecular structure of water there are 16 different molecular structure depends on which phase you know of the water it is in so very very weird molecule the water is isn't it i hope you like this uh, very short video about the curious facts of the water and i wish you very best for uh, the world you know world uh, water day you know by the way let me add another fact about the water the, the, the coffee which i'm drinking one cup of coffee needs of course coffee beans and to to grow these coffee beans you need 200 liters of water and if you take shower you know so average person's five minutes shower you know the amount of fresh water that is being used is same 200 liters and if you are using cotton clothes one kg of cotton cloth you need 10,000 liters of fresh water so think of all the environmental repercussions so instead of simply going with the fast fashion that is changing your clothes every single year try to use the same shirt or same cloth for 10 years or more that's a very good sustainable practice thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day and if you haven't please check out my uh, you know monthly science show called curiosity that covers everything that moved the world of science in the, the previous month and also what to look for in the upcoming months take care and have a nice day bye